Welcome to Mathematics with M, grade 12, Financial Mathematics. And in this video, we're going to look at annuities. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. In the grade 12 Financial Math syllabus, we must know annuities. And in this video, we're going to focus on that. There's present value annuities and there's future value annuities. Let's look at annuities. An annuity is a sequence of periodical or regular payments, often made in equal amounts, made at equal intervals of time. Examples are insurance premiums, mortgage payments, interest payment on bonds, payments of rent, payments on higher purchase, dividends, retirement or pension contributions. Ordinary annuities. In an ordinary annuity, the regular payments are made at the end of each month to period, e.g. loan, example, loan repayments, interest payments on bonds, etc., etc. Annuity due. On this type of annuity, the regular payments are made at the beginning of each payment period. Future value annuities. If we think of investing money into an account at regular intervals in equal amounts, we are saving this money for some use in future. In this case, we will be looking at the future value of these payments. Note, the future value therefore works forward. Let I be the interest rate per payment period, compound interest at Rx, the regular payment per period. So, using the compound interest formula, remember, F1 is X into 1 plus I to the power 4, it's a 4 years, then F2 is X into 1 plus I to the power 3, F3 is X into 1 plus I to the power 2, and F4 is X into 1 plus I to the power 1, so F5 is X, now that's not an interest. Therefore, the future value of all these payments is given by F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4 plus F5. So if you add them all up, you end up to X. So it is X, X into 1 plus I to the power 4 plus X into X plus I to the power 3 plus X into X plus I to the power 2 plus X into X plus X 1 plus I to the power 1 plus X. So or we can say, or we can turn it around and write it in the other order. So adding five terms of a geometric sequence, where first term A is X and the common ratio is R equals to R is 1 plus I, then the future value formula will be A into R to the power N minus 1 over R minus N. Remember, this comes from our geometric sequence, then A is X, remember R is 1 plus I, and again R is 1 plus I. Then if you collect your like terms, you get the future value formula, which is X into 1 plus I to the power 5 minus 1 over I. So generally, F is equal to X into 1 plus I to the power M minus 1 over I, where X is a payment per period, N is the number of payments and I is the interest rate. Note this formula is used only if there is a final payment at the end which does not earn interest. If the first payment is made immediately at the beginning of the first period and at the end of each period, including the first period, a regular payment is made, then the formula must be adjusted. So X into 1 plus I to the power N plus 1. That is a difference now, minus 1 over i. Let's look at the worked example. A thousand rent is invested every month starting in one month's time for a period of two years. Interest is at 18% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the future value of these investments. So you need to write down the formula for future value. But remember now, take note how do we calculate i. Remember, it is 18% divided by 100 first to convert to I. And then that answer divided by 12 to convert to monthly. So don't forget, and that should give you 0 0.015. And of course, the period is over two years, so it is 2 times 12, 
which is 24 months. And then your answer should be between 8,633,52. Habib decides to save money for 10 years in a unit trust fund. He immediately deposits 800 rand into the savings account at the end of each month. So take note, immediately deposit. He deposits 800 into the fund and continues to do this for 10 year period. Interest is 50% per annum, compounded monthly. Calculate the final value of this investment. So again, I is 15 divided by 100, and then again, divide by 12. And she gives 0, 0,0125. Then N, although it's 10 years, you must remember it is N plus 1. So therefore, it's 10 times 12 plus 1, which is 121. Because remember, he done the deposit immediately. Then minus one, and therefore the answer is then 223,725 rand and 82 cents. This is uh, Ahmed Suleiman uh, with Mathematics with AMS. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.